Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Time to do a video on one of the biggest events of every single year in Hockey Ultimate Team. Today it was announced by EA on Twitter that the next event in NHL 21 Hut will be the Team of the Year. So we're going to break down everything that we've seen so far, the trailer, the nominees, how it worked in the past, and see if we can't get you all set up for the next big event in NHL 21. Let's jump into the video. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the trailer. All right, so it is going to work a lot like it did last year. It seems as there was, you know, forward. There was a line essentially of four or three forwards, two defensemen, and a goaltender um, that were selected for team of the year. Now, anyone that doesn't know what team of the year cards are, they are the biggest cards every single year. And the reason for it is once you have one. Any time that a higher rated version of that card comes out, we'll use Alex Ovechkin from last year. If he was a 90 overall at Team of the Year, if he got a 91 prime time or a Team of the Week or a Master item, the Team of the Year card will jump up to the highest rated card. That's why these are the most valuable. Once you have one throughout the remainder of the season, that card will go up and more than likely hit the highest of high, whether it be a 98, 99, depends what the cap it at, but more than likely a 99. So it's super important that if you want to take advantage of this event that you either A, pick the right cards um, or, you know, just get lucky but anyone that was saving your collectibles this is what you're saving them for this event is huge for that because again um if you are able to create one of these cards you basically just made out with a card that is worth well over a million coins so uh, let's take a look at the nominees for this year obviously it's going to work a little bit different than the last year because while well, covid was so heavily impacted uh the entire 2020 seat the remainder of the 2020 hockey so it's not just last season it's from january 1st to December 31st. So that's going to mean you got to throw, I mean, you can't throw out what happened prior, but I believe what they're going off of is the calendar year of 2020. So the bubble in the playoffs is going to impact a lot because there was only like five, maybe I think six weeks at most of actual hockey in 2020 before the bubble. So let's take a look at the nominees. All right, again, so this is on EA's website. We'll go through it again. So each year, EA Sports NHL selects six players, one at each position, that we believe makes up the best line in hockey from that calendar year. Check out the nominees below and tell us who you think deserves the Team of the Year award. They also got Golden Skates, and, and uh, Bing, um, Jordan Bennington got a uh, Golden Helmet as well. It was kind of cool, a nice event, but not really, it doesn't really impact us. Uh, as forwards, so we've got Crosby, Kane, Kucherov, Mitch Marner, Miko Rantanen, Zabinajad, Mike Hoffman, Mark Stone, Leon Dreisaitl, Kyle Connor, Jamie Benn, Elias Pedersen, Dominic Kubalik, Pasternak, Artemi Panarin, and Austin Matthews, as well as Alex Ovechkin for your forwards. So one of these, or three of these guys, will get the Team of the Year award and get uh, their card released into the game. On defense, we've got Alex Petrangelo, who I believe was the team of the year defenseman last year. One of them, Kale McCarr, Ivan Provorov, John Carlson, John Klingberg, Shattenkirk, Roman Yossi, Quinn Hughes, Ryan Suter, Seth Jones, Victor Hedman, and Shea Theodore. And then in net, we've got Andre Vasilevsky, Carey Price, Connor Hellebuck, Carter Hart, uh, UC Soros, and Elvis Merzlikin. So, again, guys, we've just gotten a teaser for yet. These are everyone that is going to be... Um, in the team of the year uh, selection, essentially. So how it worked last year, again, this is all going to depend if it is exactly the same. Don't have any full details on that. Um, but what happened last year was we were released a like 85 version of all of these cards. And you would make a set and you would, you would end up with one of those cards. And then when team of the year was released... Those cards that had like the 85 would go up to the 90 or whatever they were, the highest rated. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to work again. We'll have to wait and see. But it is cool that we are getting a Team of the Year event. I was I was kind of skeptical that we would see it just because of what happened in 2020, obviously. But um, again, it's going to heavily include the bubble. So uh, just early picks. I mean, the Kucherov is a strong one. But there's a, there's a ton. Like Dreisaitl obviously just had a monster year. Uh, it, it'll It'll definitely be interesting. Again, like I said, the defenseman, um, it, that one, 
I think it'll be Victor Hedman. I mean, he was so dominant in the playoffs. Again, it, it'll be tough, and I'll go through a, a prediction thing and like that once we know full well how this event is going to work. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys to show you, uh, just to ex- be aware of what's going on uh, for anyone that's new. Uh, this is one of the best events all year round. It changed significantly last year. Is now we got a team of the season and team of the year. Um, and team of the year is again for the calendar. There's only six players, one at each position. And once you have one of these cards, it is you're good for the year essentially. I had the I. I made a ton of money banking on Alex Ovechkin. He ended up becoming a team of the year, and I think I made like three mil last year. It's it's a very good opportunity for people to have a ton of coins to make absolute bank, but it's also a very, very good opportunity for players that are free to play to get a card that they don't have to worry about for the rest of the year as they will upgrade all the way through. He became a 99, and he was absolutely fantastic on my, on my team. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below of this year's Team of the Year nominees and who you think is going to be it, and make sure you subscribe to the channel as I'll have info at a meeting immediately covering all of this event as well as everything else in call in, in <clears throat> everything else in NHL 21. Thanks a lot guys. Have a good one.